Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about a remove it method of a form array with form controls and we'll try to unit test that particular remove it method. To understand about remove it, I have a Angular tutorial video. I'll provide the link in the description. Please watch that before continuing this. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created a form with a form controls like form array and these will be looping and it will be rendering all these input fields and the buttons. Already we have executed the test cases for the add new control and the form controls. Now we will be focusing on the button. Whenever we click on this button, these will be calling a remove form control and that has been written in our TS file and this will be executed. Whenever this is executed, my cities array will be having one less compared to the previous controls. So let me quickly go into the spec file and here we already wrote all the different types of uh, testing and now let me minimize this and let me write one more test case like form array remove method or event and it has a callback and inside this callback let me use fixture dot detect changes and we have defined this fixture on the top level itself. Uh, you can see my previous videos for how to create this fixture from a create component. And also we have the instance that will refer to your TS file. Now the detect changes is, has been done. Fixture dot when stable. Whenever the fixture is stable, then I'll get a callback. Inside the callback functions, I want to get that particular button where we can use delete. So now let me go to the HTML and here we have a delete button so let me create an id id is equal to dlt button that means delete button and now go to the spec file let me get the delete button const delete button is equal to i have something like fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my query selector it's an id so hash and what is my ID that is delete button. Let me copy this and paste here. So you got that button and whenever you click that button like dot click then it has to call a method and what method it has to call that has to be called with remove form control with index value. Now what we can do is just like const delete spion is equal to spion of instance what is my instance the instance is nothing but app component instance and what is the method it is a remove form control dot and dot call through so it has to be called and also we can use call through once this click is happened it has to call that mock function at least once so expect of delete spion dot to have been called times of one it has to call at least one time. Let me save this and let me save this and go here. So now three out of three were success. But in this case, we are checking whether it is called or not by clicking on this particular button. But we have a case where this can be called any of the button. So that means you are getting all the buttons from that HTML, but that, is, that should not be the case. So what I can do is I can use some index value I okay now to test it just we want to check the first button so let me go here and pass one so let me save this and the id would be something like an underscore so let me pass the underscore one and whenever that is clicked then we have to pass an index that means the index value is one so that will be passed with an index one and the delete spion should be called at least one time so now this is called one time and also the next expectation is something like expect of instance dot cities dot to equal of i want to find the length and that should be equal to your array length by default we have two from that we are deleting the first one so we'll be having one let me give semicolon save this there is some problem which was disconnected and let me go here and reload the application let me go back and if you see here the length would be something like one here you can see like three has been successfully passed and we have one more line to check that 
that is sample data whenever we are changing the value that means whenever we are clicking a delete icon then that particular delete button should update this but in our case the problem is we are using emit event that means whenever we are using an emit event the value of that sample data will never be changed so let me go to the html and here we are clicking the button and that is updating my E emit event that is cities and this cities will be calling the value changes but we are using emit event so it will not call that value changes so in this case what we can do is just go to the spec file and now we will be checking the default value of the sample data like expect of instance dot sample data dot length dot to equal of zero why because for the first time it is the length will be zero and we are not changing any of the values now after deleting we are changing the cities array at this particular time we are expecting that to be equal to the length of the cities but this that will not be the case why because cities and the sample data will not be updated dot to equal of zero only why because we are using something like emit event as false so it will not change the cities array and it will not call the value changes subscription and let me reload once again so go here it has been successfully passed three out of three has been successfully passed and now what i will do is just i'll change this to in this case whenever we are changing into true the emit will happen and the value changes will be called then the value changes will be updating this this dot sample data in this case this will fail that means it is expected 1 to equal of 0 that means it is expecting 1 why because we have 2 and we have deleted and that will be triggering these value changes when the value changes triggered my value of that cities will be array of 1 and that will be given to the sample data so in this case it will be having 1 let me save this and you can see the output and this time it is success that means it is very easy to test our value subscriptions or value changes with our cities and this emit event is an option whenever we are using an emit event please make sure if you want to call or if you'd want to subscribe to any value changes then use emit event otherwise don't use this emit event and make it as false hope you guys like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you